it's looking even bleaker for supporters of electronic transmission. And that's because the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, says only half of polling units in the country have 3G network to transmit electoral results. The NCC's executive vice chairman disclosed this when he appeared before the House of Representatives. Dan Bata's representative told the lawmakers that a survey conducted in 2018 showed that 49% of units had 2G network and below. A member of the House of Representatives, Honorable Sergio Sogo, is joining us from Abuja. Hi, Honorable, good evening. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, so what's, what's your take, personally, what's your take on, on this development? Oh, well, as you know, I'm a member of the opposition, and the opposition caucus worked out today. But from what I'm hearing in the news, the the APC members that we left behind in the chamber passed section 52 sub 2, which was in contention the way it came, the way it was recommended by the party. Well, maybe we can we can make do with that for now. How did you vote? When we, I voted for INEC to be allowed, sorry, I voted for electronic transmission of the results. And if, the simple reason I voted that way is to avoid a situation where INEC will be manipulated by the powers that be. Because if INEC was truly independent, we would not be bothering about this. I have said somewhere during the Loretta Onoche saga that if Nigeria was a country where we are honest to ourselves, you will not even be bothered who is the national, um, so that who, yeah, who, is, who is even the national chairman of INEC, or who is a, uh, a national commissioner. You won't be bothered whether it's a card carry member of any party or if it's your opponent. But as it turned out, we are in a situation whereby the system is still subject to control by the powers that be. It's just a safeguard that I voted for is to be to be legally put there that they should transmit electronically. But in any case, NCC came and they made a fool of themselves today. I mean, the man that represented the executive president and CEO claimed that in 2018, what, what, I mean, in 2018, we had 119,000 police stations and only 8,000 was not covered. And in three years, you have not done anything about that hmm. in three years. And yet you have the Universal Service Provision Fund, which is a 2.5% of the uh, 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 cost of operation of the telecommunication providers. Okay. That's a lot of money. Hmm. What's that money supposed to be used for? To provide universal coverage to the unserved and underserved areas in this country. Hmm. You know, and like the experts will say, it will not take six months to cover the 8,000, the 8,000 that have not been covered. But in any case, right now, with the, with the new units created by INEC, we have 176,846 ballot uh, polling units right now. So I think they just need to get off their, their, their ass and do their work. But to say that we don't have universal coverage is a big lie. Because MTN, in their annual general report, sorry, annual uh, ADM, last month here, claim that MTA they will have 80% coverage of this country. So why is NCC lying on that oath? But wh why, why has this issue uh, been so divisive? Why has it uh, generated so much division in the house? Yeah, it's simple. Like I said, it's just a Nigerian thing. You allow I need, I need to, to use their discretion. Discretion can always be abused. You know, so if you don't want a situation abused, Limit discretion as much as possible. INEC on their own have been pushing for electronic electronic transmission of results. They did it in a show in 2018, but they were not allowed to continue in the 20, 2019 general elections. They did it in a door in my state, and I was there and I saw how easy it was because it avoids, it takes away this problem of hoodlums going to coalition center to fight for uh, election results 
We saw what happened in 2019, Imo, even in my state in Edo, my own polling units, we had all manner of people there. We slept there, and, and I left there the next day, Sunday evening. And you, I, I, can't, I can't explain the amount of tension there that day. Because anybody could have entered there, take on resource sheets like they did in Nemo, and everybody would be in crisis, everybody would be running helter scatter. Mm. But if you are transmitting the result, if you are transmitting the result electronically, if you take away any paper, it does not challenge, it doesn't hurt the system. Mm. Because the result transmitted is in the server. Mm. You know, the paper is just a backup. And that's what we are saying, let's do the right thing. Let's do the right thing. If we don't do it now, when? The technology is available. The, the card reader we are talking about, we thank God in section 49, it has been approved. And this uh, Z pad is just a function. That's the Z pad for the transmission of the results. It's just an additional software that's embedded in the card reader. So we are good to go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for your time. That's uh, Honorable Sergio Sogun uh, of the House of Representatives discussing uh, ele electoral amendments with us. Thank you very much, Honorable, for your time. Uh, we'll still need you in our subsequent bulletins. In, in the coming days, we'll reach out to you again. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.